So, you have all these old DeskJet inks lying around. Do you recycle them? Let me give you a better suggestion. Why don't you transform them into spray paint arts? Let's do that right now. To make a beautiful spray paint art from old inks, this is what you need to do. Okay, of course, you need the DeskJet O inks. So, if you have a black one, you have red, you have uh, blue or yellow, whatever it is, that's what you need first. You also need isopropyl alcohol. Now, the one I'm using is 91%. I'm pretty sure you can also use 70%, but I think 91% is a bit better and you don't have to uh, use a lot of it. And also what you need as well is this mist sprayer. This one I like to use because it's very portable, very small. I got it for $2. And what you want to do first is take this mist spray bottle. Oops. Okay. And then first thing you want to do is add a third Okay, a third of isopropyl alcohol, 91%. Now, if it's um, if it's 70%, you might want to add a bit more. But since I'm using a very concentrated isopropyl alcohol, I'm going to just use a quarter to a third. Okay, so let's do that. Let's pour it in. Okay, that's about right. As you can see, it's about a third or a quarter. And then, depending on what color you want to put in, let's say I want to put in the uh, blue. All I have to do is just add the blue in here. So here we go. This is the uh, spray paint blue ink coming from the old um, DeskJet ink but that now I can use to perform my arts with. Pretty cool. Let's try it out now. Okay, here's the portable paint sprayer. As you can see, I have the blue, the magenta red, and the yellow. Here's the piece of paper that I will spray onto. Uh, just make sure you have um, a surface that um, won't get uh, dirty. Okay, on the side here, you don't care so much about it. So I have this uh, uh, background support. And then I have a piece of paper underneath. And this is the paper that I'll be using to spray paint on. So it won't uh, spray all over the place. Okay. And if it does, I can clean up very easily. Easily. Okay, so let's start with something. Usually I start with something dark. Okay, let's do something uh, with a blue. Okay, there we go. Okay. Next, let's add a bit of red. Okay, kind of messy, right? So that's why you have to have a, a surface where if it's dirty, you don't care less, you can clean up. And yellow. Okay. And voila. Now, this one is unique. This one here, this yellow uh, ink, I actually add a bit of a perfume in there or cologne. When it spray out, wow, it smells so good. So that's another um, cool stuff you can do. Just add a bit of um, old colognes or old um, perfume that you don't use. Put it into here as well. And when you spray it, this, wow, this paper smells so good. And that's about it. And let it dry. And there we go. You have a beautiful... Uh, artwork you know, I can use as a background you can uh, uh, paint over it whatever you want to do is a nice piece of paper now uh, you can use it for wrapping and all that okay thanks for watching educate2.com